Hello and welcome to Youthin Pro. In this video, we'll have a look at the style customizer of Youthin Pro's website builder. The style customizer is the second section of the website builder. It allows you to slightly customize or completely change the look of your website. Like in any area of the website builder, you have a bunch of tools available here on the left side, and you see a live preview of the changes on your website here on the right. At the top, you can select one of the styles that is available on your website. The style customizer has many settings available, which give you fine-grained control over pretty much every aspect of how your site looks. There are several things that make it easy to find your way around all these available settings. First of all, all settings are grouped according to the component they belong to. Some settings fit in the well, general section up here, so some global settings and some theme-specific settings, and the others are grouped to their components. There are some components which are pretty obviously named, for example, button or breadcrumb, and others might not be so obvious to people who haven't worked with the customizer before. But for that, there are two additional things that make it easy to understand what's going on. First, there are highlights. Um, this means that when you hover over a component, the live preview highlights all the elements which are affected by the settings from that component. And the next thing are tooltips. This means when you hover over any element in the live preview, a tooltip appears with a list of all the components that affect this particular element. That way you can easily find the component where you can change the settings for this particular element. You can freely navigate around your website to any page you like to see what your changes will look like there. However, sometimes you just want to have an overview over the whole UI element collection that you are styling. For that, there's a checkbox here on the left that you can activate, which previews all available UI elements. If we go inside a single component, for example, the button, again here you see the highlight of all the buttons on this page. Um, when we go inside this component, we get an even more detailed view of the button component itself with all the available button modifiers and the available states of a button. So now that we are inside a component, we can change the style options. It starts up here with some general options like um, size and typography settings of the button. And then it is grouped into the default button style, the primary button style, and some more button variations down here. In this style, the primary button has a very darkish gray background color. Let's change this to a dark shade of blue. I go to the primary section and pick a different background color. Yeah, that's okay. Remember that you can just play around with all the available settings. We are in preview mode, so this won't be visible to our visitors until we hit the save button. Or if we are unhappy with the result that we've got, we can just hit cancel and reset all the changes that we've made. Also, don't be afraid to um, make some changes um, because you won't lose the default style that you've started with. As you can see, now that we've changed the background color property, there's a small dot displayed on the left of the property name. If we hover that dot, we can click the cross that appears to reset the change that we've made. If you do not want to reset every change you've made one by one, there's also a faster option available. If you navigate back to the style customizer overview, and scroll all the way down, there's a button labeled Reset to Defaults. This is different from the Cancel button that you see up here in the top. When you click Cancel, all the changes that you've made since the last time you've saved are reverted. If you click Reset to Defaults, the whole style will be reverted. The style has now been reset, and if we save this, all of our changes are gone. Another thing you might have noticed is that there's a small capital A appearing when I hover some of the properties. This tells us that this is a setting that has been computed automatically based on some other value 
in the style. What does this mean? In the background, the style customizer works with less, which is a precompiler for CSS. For developers, this allows very easy customizations of the default style. If you are not a developer, you actually don't need to worry about this too much. I'll just show you how we can make use of this fact in this particular case. I navigate out of the button and I scroll up. Each style has some global settings. For example, global typography settings, um, global colors, and also global background colors. Here we see the primary background color. When I change that color to a dark shade of blue, we see that the primary button updates as well. This is because the primary background color of the button is calculated from this primary background color. At the same time, other elements update, for example, this primary state of the card component. With these global settings, we can quickly and easily change the global appearance of the whole style rather than updating every single component manually. So most of the time, it's a good idea to start with the global settings to get a general feel for the style that you want to change. And afterwards, go into single components where you still want to tweak a few settings manually. Let's have one more look at how you would work with the style customizer on your real website. For that, I disable the preview all UI elements checkbox and we see a page on our website appear in the live preview. Let's imagine we want to change the color of the sub navigation that is displayed in the footer. As we see, this comes from the sub nav component. Let's navigate into the according component section and here we can choose a different font family. Let's choose a different link color. And then maybe we also want to change the appearance of the divider. Let's make it a bit lighter. And then instead of having just a line, display a small box by making the border wider. This might not be to everyone's taste, but at least you can see how we can work with this. If we now navigate to a different page on the website, we see that the sub-navigation looks the same everywhere because the style applies globally. One more thing we want to look at is how to work with fonts. Um, Uthing Pro includes Google Web Fonts, which offer you a huge collection of different font styles. By default, these fonts are included with their most common glyphs and variations so that your visitors do not have to download all the unneeded data. If, however, your website uses a language with less common glyphs, you need to configure the font to load the additional variations of the font. So I've picked a new default font family for our global settings. And when I scroll all the way down, we see all the loaded Google fonts from this style. If I click the name of the font, I have additional settings available. By default, each font loads the default Latin characters. If in addition to that, we also want to load the Latin extended characters, we can use the keyword Latin-ext to do so. Note that not every font supports all languages, but we can look that up on the Google Fonts directory. We can search for the font here. If we select it and click Customize, we see all the available variations and all the available languages of this font. Also, if you are using different font weights and you also need to configure this. So for example, we could say it should load the default 400 weight, but also load the weight 700. And that's it. And this concludes our look at the style customizer from Uthim Pro. I hope you now have an understanding of the way to work with this powerful tool. It's a great helper to change the look of your website and is actually a lot of fun to play with. When you're done, remember to either cancel so you revert all your changes or to save to make them available for the visitors of your website. Thanks for watching.